Hello, everyone, and welcome to Meditations on the Porch. I call this poem, A Bunch of Liars. And uh, the title uh, speaks for itself. Uh, very quickly, just the media has completely uh, destroyed this country, in my opinion. Uh, so many people that believe them and then go against the people that don't and who's telling the truth and who's not. And so everybody just has to do some digging. It doesn't matter which side you're on. You really have to dig deep and do your research and just try to get to the, uh, to the truth of the matter. So I'll let the poem speak for itself. Again, it's called A Bunch of Liars. What's it going to take for everybody to see? How much more blatant can it be? Roe v. Wade was just overturned. Whether for or against it, there's one thing I've learned. The left side is phrasing it as if it's illegal and banned. It is now up to the individual states, don't you understand? Just like the parental rights in education bill. They phrased it, don't say gay, it's making me ill. It's the same thing they used against us for free speech. Our democracy is in trouble. Man, that's quite a reach. When it's convenient for them, they use it. Otherwise, they completely abuse it like the riots, looting, and burning in 2020 labeled peaceful protests. My wife and I were there. The city we were living in was on fire, but nobody seems to care. We saw the destruction from BLM and Antifa with our own eyes. It's the mainstream media and the left telling us a bunch of lies. People died and businesses were lost. Their excuse is, Racism has a cost. This was not about racism or anything to do with black lives. Floyd was a career criminal that we all should despise. An accident or on purpose in doesn't matter to me. We are all better off without him in our society. I may sound insensitive, but if you look at his criminal history, including holding a gun to a pregnant woman's belly, the fake news wants that to remain a mystery. In and out of jail, committing crimes that were violent. You can be sure the mainstream media on those facts are staying silent. Enticing violence, killings, and fires. Completely preventable if the press weren't a bunch of liars. Thank you.